All right, folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. It's about time. We are headed to the wild, wild west. Let's use the key we got on Pirate Seas. And as you guys can tell, I am going in order. Welcome to the hardest world ever. There are going to be a lot of hard worlds. And I'll start explaining that as these levels get through. Six shooters locked and loaded. Old-timey piano music downloaded. Chance of taco, 0.015%. Margin of error, 0.016%. Alright, so you gotta drag the cart. So may, one of the main reasons that I'm not a big fan of this area is for the simple fact that those mine carts take up like full rows of yours. And they're in the back, most likely. For instance, in Pirate Seas, the planks and stuff, which it basically took out certain uh, tiles that you couldn't use, we're all near the front, and the zombies would funnel down those planks, and you could kind of build around it. You'll notice here, it gets to be pretty darn difficult because, like for instance, that whole back row in this one, this is the first level, and I can't plant all my twin sunflowers the farthest away from the zombies. Now again, if you guys use different strategies, that's great. But for me, I mean, I have to basically use a sunflower in an area that I don't really prefer to put one. Um, I would rather, and plus, like potato mine exactly. Potato mine, I'd like to put it in the very, very back row. Make this zombie wait as long as humanly possible to actually blow up so I can give myself more time to gather more sun. Do I get that opportunity here? No, they take it away from you. So, I mean, I have the pea shooter right here, but I don't want to use him. Because I want this zombie to take his sweet time to get all the way to the end. Same reason I want my twin sunflowers to gain me as much sun as humanly possible. Now, you are going to grab some pretty cool plants in this area, which I do definitely like. And I'll be talking about those once we get through them. Um, for one of the main ones is, is the melons. Melons are pretty darn awesome, and uh, something that I would use almost exclusively if I did a re if I did a replay of this stuff. Uh, the melons are definitely something that I would always like to do. But as of right now, you can see um, I have basically, you know, all the twin sunflowers. It's great, they're giving me a whole bunch of sun. Uh, I like it. It's doing me well. Again, this is day one. You shouldn't be having too much difficulty with day one. Um, you know, I can have difficult with day one. Especially due to the fact that you don't really get, you know, the opportunity to plant as much as you want. also takes away a lot of your side so actually you know again this this will show you how to get through it I'd love to have planted more sunflowers uh, space is very limited the great thing about this level though is they're all basically cone heads not as difficult so all this stuff can be you know defeated um, kept all my plant food simple fact you know, might as well save it till the very, very end. No reason to blow it in the beginning. Um, unless you want to use the iceberg lettuce and basically slow down everyone. Uh, you're more than welcome to do that. So, for instance, you know, right now, I didn't use any spike weeds. Um... You know, it's very possible you could have used those as well. Uh, I decided to go for the repeaters. Just figured they would do a lot of damage to the guys up front. Again, why waste your plant food? Might as well use it. So use your plant food. Take all these guys out. And that's going to be day one. It's an introduction to a world that has some pretty interesting game mechanics, but are very, very difficult. Um, way more so than Ancient Egypt or Pirate Seas if you guys played those first. Um, but anyways, guys, 
after we take red of the, care of this cone head, it'll wrap up day one, and I'll see you guys in the next part. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.